Hello everyone, my name is Jay and I'm excited to discuss sea otter capture techniques with you today. Before we dive into the capture method, let's first take a moment to explore some background information on sea otters. Sea otters are marine mammals that are primarily found along the coasts of the North Pacific Ocean. They inhabit a wide range of environments, including rocky shorelines, kelp forests, estuaries, and intertidal zones. Sea otters are known for their ability to survive in cold water, and their thick fur coats provide insulation to keep them warm. They are also excellent swimmers and spend much of their time in the water, where they hunt for food and socialize with other otters. The habitat and environment of sea otters are crucial to their survival. Undertaking research on otters involves exploring various methods for capturing them, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. The problem lies in selecting a technique that prioritizes both animal and researcher safety while also being efficient in capturing the otters. In this presentation, we will examine several approaches used for catching sea otters and determine the most effective one. The dip net is a commonly used method for capturing sea otters, which involves a team of researchers on a boat scanning the waters for otters. When they spot one, they drive the boat over towards the otters at high speed while the person carrying the dip net scoops the animal right out of the water. This technique requires a high level of skill to avoid harming the otter and to ensure the safety of both the animal and the researchers. Advantages of the dip net method are that it is relatively accessible and inexpensive without the need for extensive equipment or setup. The disadvantages are that dip netting requires open space for the boat to navigate and there's a chance that the sea otter will get spooked by the boat and dive underwater before it is captured. Another method for capturing sea otters is through the use of a tangle net. This technique involves researchers setting up a long strip of netting in the water with a small mesh size to ensure the safety of the otter. The team then waits for the otter to become entangled in the net, either by swimming or floating into it. Once the animal is captured, they are carefully and quickly removed from the net for examination. Although this method requires some setup time, it is less stressful for the animal than the dip net method and poses less of a risk to both the researchers and the otter. However, the use of these kinds of nets in the marine environment may have negative effects, like the risk of injury or entanglement. There's also the risk of accidentally capturing a non-target species, such as birds or fish. A third method for capturing sea otters is by using scuba gear, a diver propulsion device, and a Wilson net. This technique requires a skilled diver with a specialized military-grade scuba gear known as a rebreather, which releases no bubbles into the water to avoid startling the otters. The diver then uses their propulsion device to swim over to the otter. The diver then surfaces rapidly, holding the Wilson net to capture the otter in the trap. This method allows researchers to capture sea otters with minimal disturbance to their natural environment and with a reduced risk of harm to both the otter and the researcher. Disadvantages of this method are that it requires special gear and requires researchers to enter the water. It can also be very stressful for an otter on the water surface to suddenly be entrapped from below. When it comes to capturing sea otters, I think the best technique is to scuba dive with a Wilson trap. While it isn't the easiest method, it has the least environmental impact and allows for safe handling of the animal. However, I also think any of these three methods presented today can be effective for capturing otters when done properly. It just depends on the situation. Before wrapping up, I'd like to acknowledge the literature and sources I used for the project. Without all their useful information, I wouldn't have been able to put together this presentation. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.